Jacob I love, Esau I hate it. Does this really mean that God rejects Gentiles and only accepts Jews? Absolutely not. This is a misunderstanding of God's character. God is a God of love and he desires all people to come to repentance. He is not a respecter of persons and his offer of salvation is extended to Jews and Gentiles alike. The judgment placed on Adam and Eve was a curse that would affect all of humanity. The Masonic prophecy was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, not because they were better than other people, but because they were chosen by God. to be the lineage through which the Messiah would come. The fact that Jesus was crushed for our iniquities and chastised was so we could have peace was not because he deserved it, because he loved us so much and he took it upon himself to take the punishment. So no, God does not reject Gentiles and only accepts Jews. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashim. Yahweh Shai by Hashem Recha HaKwadash and double honors to the elder apostles and the bishops of Great Millstone honors as well to you brethren you fellow believers of this faith and Shalom to the elect so anyway I'm not kind of going to respond I'm not going to respond off of this video I'm going to respond off of the comments which is kind of still off the video this is like stuck a Christian stuck 10 years ago trying to debate this topic Christians have evolved from that by now and understand or at least some of them believe Esau was killed and done away with I don't know um, you know you can't trust a woman like this with a smile and she looks like bewitched <laughs> not the show but she looks like she's got a a spell you know with that smile and that, that face those eyes you, you, you can't trust anybody like that but anyway <laughs> I'm going to read um, the comments on here and then see where it takes me because I was looking at the comments and it's, it's like crazy you know so anyway this is little little lion right he said he hated Esau because one, one represents the flesh willing to trade his inheritance for the fulfillment of flesh rejecting God's gift and inheritance the other, the spirit Israel, this is what he said, spirit Israel, Jacob was willing to fight for it. He accepted the gift from the Father and built upon it in faith. So we can clearly see when the Bible is read and people will find and make an excuse to make the scriptures fit according to their will because we're stuck. You know, we've been put back in a mindset, so-called blacks, whites, everybody, all these Christians, the majority of them are just stuck. They just believe God loves every damn body. Although all the things that they've read in the Old Testament, things that he's done, things that he says he's going to do in the New Testament, clearly says he doesn't love everybody. In Matthew 25, he said he will come and gather all nations and separate the sheep from the goat. Where, where is this coming from? This is the mindset of Christianity, right? Then somebody says... You look like Esau. <laughs> See, this guy got a picture. Do you look like Esau? Now, I don't know if he's Esau or not. You don't always go on to look. But he damn sure, his thumbnail damn sure looks like Esau. So anyway, somebody read Isaiah 34. Come ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear all that they're, they're in, the world, and all things that are in. The indignation of the Lord is upon all nations. And his fury upon all their armies, he have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to slaughter. Right? Uh, Esau wasn't white. He's a weird. Um, but Esau isn't just one person. It's a whole nation of people. Very true. Very true. I actually had this scripture up. Malachi. Where? Let me go to where I have it up. I think I have it up. Malachi. I think I have this up. Four and one. For behold, the days cometh. Uh, is it Malachi? It was Malachi one and four, I think. Um, yeah, one and two. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, Where has thou loved us? Right. Where it says thou loved us. 
anyway, goes on to say, um, was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob, right? This is what he says. And I hated Esau. How clear can you get than that? And laid his mountains in the heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Now some Christians will say, see it already happened. Right? But then you had the Roman Empire. You had the Romans. They were Edomites. And mixture of, you had Israelites in, there, in the armies too. Anyway, we're in uh, Greeks, right? Where Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Right? Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the board of wickedness. And the people, see this is not just talking about Esau, but the people whom the Lord have indignation forever. Oh, I thought God just loved everybody. Oh, he sold his birthright. And that's why it just represented him selling his birthright. But it had nothing to do with him hating them. But clearly here he's talking about he threw their, he's going to burn their nation. They will build, but he will throw down. And, you know, I, I don't know. These people. Um, anyway, um, somebody said, I've never heard it explained like that. I think a little lion from the guy, uh, the one they say look like an Edomite. Somebody brought out Malachi, Revelation 13 and 9 and 10. Um, he that leave the captivity shall go into captivity. Somebody here says, I am a white guy. I'm Esau, Edomite. Nothing but wickedness come from my people. Nothing but wickedness. She sounds really nice. It sounds really good. But it's all lies. <laughs> and then... This is another thing you got to be careful about. This same woman got almost 400 comments. So you know they, you know, you see her and the look and she all up in the, the camera and she comments to everything. And, you know, I mean everything. Um it goes on to say uh I'm just going to try to He hates Esau because how he treated Israel, the Hebrews, not Edom, who the world think is us. But again, read the book of Obadiah, first chapter. Job 39 and 17, we know that, the, the prophet of wisdom. Um, Ecclesiastes 3 and 8, a time to love, time to hate. God loves everybody, but that, that doesn't mean you will be saved. Get salvation. I, does that make any sense? He loves everybody, and if he's the almighty God and he loves everybody, then who the hell would need to be saved? I don't know. This is all weird. Wrong. Her father is probably Esau. Could be. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Um, I'm just going through here. And then I'll go to the lesson and read, you know, going through the things I was going to go into. And she comments on everything. Um, John 3.16. And then she says, <clears throat> Sir, going to the original Hebrew, Greek, um, literally throughout the scripture that God's inheritance includes humanity um, we would like to see that now everybody has a, some form of inheritance remember he divided the nations according to their inheritance but he had one chosen people um, listen to this troubled soul right she called him a troubled soul um, somebody said who the F are you to change the meaning of the literal Bible scripture? And that's exactly what she just did. Um, but it's, um, it's one I want to get to that she couldn't. Uh, yeah, here we go right here. Somebody said, yeah, like I said, Obadiah. Let me go up here. They always refute Jacob and Esau doctrine, but never reference Obadiah. Why not refer to the book uh, that specifically states that Esau will be cut off forever and the people understanding what is a, the Masonic prophecy I'm assuming I hope she meant messianic check your work and study more sis yeah, you know you're wasting your time man and she says it's individuals like yourself who don't read the Bible totally <laughs> you choose and pick 
what scriptures out that you want for your narrative? He says, yeah, like I said, Obadiah, no explanation. Keep studying. Please stop teaching these misconceptions. I study deeply. This is what she says. Then he says, yeah, once again, Obadiah and many more passages about the nations not being allowed to the congregate. So I'm done with that. <clears throat> she couldn't get around Obadiah. And that, that bothered her and she choked. Obviously choked. Let's go to Romans 9. Let's go to Romans 9. Right? Christians try to refute this too. But uh, for I could wish that myself were cursed from Yahawashah, Romans 9 and 3, says Christ, for my brother and my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites who pertain of the adoption, the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the services of God and their promises. This wouldn't even need to be said if it was for all nations. But let's say, okay, he's telling them the promises and adoption. What good is it for anybody else to be saved if promises came to you? Everybody can't have the promise. This stuff doesn't make any sense. He's, Paul is telling them the Israelites got the promise. They're the chosen seed. They're the royal priesthood. They're, they have the covenants and the laws and everything. But here's the Christians jump in and say, well, wait a minute. It doesn't matter because he's now grafted everybody else in. Then it's not a chosen vessel. It's not a chosen seed and it's no longer a promise. <laughs> Especially for one specific uh, uh, nation. Uh, not as though it was a uh, word of God is taken on effect for they are not all Israel which are of Israel neither because they are the seed of Abraham uh, are they the children uh, are all the children but in Isaac shall that seed be called yeah because Abraham had of the children but whose seed was, getting the, was given the promise we're seeing the separation right there right this is what I'm going to get to for verse 9, for this is the word of the promise, at the time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son, right? This is what it says. Uh, and not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, by our father Isaac. For the children being not yet born, right? Neither, this is proven also, they say we be a misogynist and all that. You see it, it's all through the father, man. It's all through the lineage of the men. The woman just played that part and bringing bring in life. That was the beautiful part about it. Now women want all to be equal in the Bible and everything. And these men are, are supporting it. But anyway, for the children not being yet, uh, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God is according to the election might stand, not of works, but him that calleth. So this cuts this guy, Little Lion, that said it was a situation that he decided not to because one represented the flesh because he sold his birthright. Don't matter. The Lord set it up from the beginning. This is what he said. Before they was even born, it was set up. Right? Let's go to Genesis 26 and 4. Right? Uh, it says to join in a land will, you know, with thee and will bless thee for, uh, for unto thee. Well, let me go up here. Um, it says um, trying to figure out where I'm at and the Lord appeared unto him and said go down into Egypt and dwell in the land this is Isaac Sellers and Gerar go in the land which I uh, shall tell thee of so join in the land and I will be with thee and will bless thee for unto thee and unto thy seed I will give all these countries right this is what he's saying. And I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father. And I will multiply. I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of the heaven. And will, be, and will give unto the seed all the countries. Right? Right? And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Right? And another word for nations is people. So then we go on down to this word seed. So it's telling you right here, the scattered Israelites, and we'll get that in the New Testament as well. Um, it says, and I will make thee heaven in thy seed, right? Age 22, 33. This is what it says. It says seed, sowing, like it could have mean seed, like a seed you sow. Um, but it's seed, sowing, offspring, right? 
semen viral, right? Because that's what C come spermia, viral offspring descendants, posterity children, right? So we go to Acts three twenty five, we see the same thing. Ye the children of prophets and the covenants which God made with our father, saying unto Abraham, and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Right? How are they going to be blessed if it's all? How are the other nations going to be blessed through his seed? Right? Now they will say um, it's a spiritual thing, which it is spiritual. But when you really look at it, let's go into the word seed, which says the same thing, offspring. And through his seed, which means through his offspring, shall all the kindreds, which goes to his kin. Right? So this clearly saying it's a seed line that's going to bless these uh, Israelites that are scattered amongst the nation. As Deuteronomy 20, 64 said, they'll be scattered through all nations, right? Goes to Patriarch, it says, lineage running back to a progenitor ancestry, group of families, given people lay claim to a common origin, the Israelites, was distributed into 12 tribes descended from the 12 sons of Jacob. These were divided into families which were divided into houses. So that's your seeds, that's your scattering, right? Yeah, you can't get around that. Yeah, it says sperma, um, semen, right? So we go to Obadiah. Let's go to about Obadiah 1 and 10. <clears throat> For thy, so because some people will say, I'm just trying to clear all uh, angles. Some people will say that he repented. Obadiah was uh, brought back in or whatever the case is. I don't know. People say crazy things. It says, For violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. As we read in Romans 9, it was already predicted. These people don't understand remotely the possibilities of the Lord's work. They have no understanding. Remember Jeremiah 1, he said, I knew thee before I formed thee. Verse 18, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame in the house of Esau for stubble and they shall kindle in them and devour them and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau for the Lord has spoken it not this woman here who spoke it it says what the Lord has spoken so we listen to this woman should we listen to any man or should we listen to the Lord what the Lord says and then the people who think God is all loving they will all gather around and make all kind of excuses and say, uh, and then they'll say God loves everybody, but then he's going to burn them in hell. Again, this is not making any sense. Anyway, that's all I have on that. Shalom.